I'm Brigadier R.K. Sharma, now practicing infertility at Primus Hospital, Chanakyapuri, Delhi. Many patients have a query, what is IVF? IVF in full form is in vitro fertilization or what we call is test tube baby. IVF is done when the woman has got both block tubes or if she has got failed IUI or she has got unexplained infertility or when there is a severe male factor infertility by that what I mean is the count of the husband is around 5 to 10 million or even less than that. In this procedure the aim is to have 8 to 10 eggs so woman is given some injections so that she form 8 to 10 eggs and once the eggs are ready under anesthesia we take out those eggs with the help of a needle and these eggs are nurtured in the incubators and meanwhile the husband gives a semen sample which is prepared and insemination is done. When the count is very poor, under those circumstances, there is another procedure which is done along with it that is called ICSI, which is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. In this procedure, one single sperm is taken and injected directly into the egg. This helps in achieving the pregnancy even when the sperm count are very low or even if the sperm have been retrieved directly from the testes in case of obstructive isospermia and in these circumstances the babies uh, in future grow as any other normal babies. In vitro fertilization is done in a highly advanced laboratories by a trained embryologist and also the clinicians who are involved in the management. The IVF uh, can have its own set of complications like multiple pregnancies ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome and also ectopic pregnancy. So these are detected early and then treated accordingly. These patients can achieve the pregnancy even with the third party reproduction but that what I mean is in case the woman does not have adequate number of eggs or she is going into ovarian failure she can go for egg donation and if the husband doesn't have sperms they can go for a sperm donation and if both are having a problems then they can go for embryo donation. A woman whose uterus is not capable of uh, keeping the baby under those circumstances we also advise them to go for surrogacy. IVF requires lot of dedication and critical care by the uh, treating doctors and also the full involvement of the patients. They need to take injections for about two weeks and they have to follow all the instructions so that the results can be adequate. So the best of the pregnancies can be achieved with the help of blastocyst transfer and embryo hatching and all these would require further increase in the cost of treatment. A one cycle of IVF can cost anything between 1.5 to 12 lakh rupees and the pregnancy rate as I said earlier can be around 50 to 60 percent under the best of circumstances. I hope uh, the information uh, which I have given to you is concise and to your satisfaction. In case you have some more queries, you can contact me in the description box which is given below.